Hi friends, it's me, Allie, your friendly neighborhood Chanel expert. Today, we are working with some of the new number one face primers, Les Beiges. We're going to create a beautiful, healthy looking peachy look. And lucky for you, this morning I am exhausted. I am so tired. So I'm going to show you how to transform your look from super sleepy to refreshed. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. I am starting off with the number 204 Tissé Vendôme palette. So the Tissé series is much softer than some of the other eyeshadows available. These eyeshadows are soft and luminous and they are made for mature eyelids or for someone who wants a soft and subtle look. So everything that I'm using, the brushes, the makeup is listed in the description box down below. So go ahead and use those affiliate links. I'm starting with this light color here with a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just lightly going into the crease here. This color is like a neutral brown beige color, well more brown than beige, and it's very soft. You know, it might look quite luminous in the palette here, but on the eye, it actually looks very soft. That's what I mean when I say that the Tissé series is a bit more refined. It really is for someone who has either mature eyelids and doesn't want a chunky glitter, or someone who really just simply wants a very soft look. And unfortunately, they only have a couple of the Tissé shadows available now. They don't have many. This is the older formula. They used to have more, but there's a newer formula now, which is fine. I still like it. But there's something about the Tissé one that's just a little bit softer. And I like, I mean, I actually love Vendôme. It's a gorgeous palette. It's a palette that I've repurchased. I've actually, this is my second palette, like second version of this, and imagine how much I have to love an eyeshadow to use up the whole palette. I love it because it's a wonderful neutral everyday. I think a lot of people get thrown off by the peach color, which is understandable, and today we will be leaning into it, but I certainly have used this a lot on my channel, ignoring the peach and just going into the soft neutrals. So there we go, we've just laid down this first color here. It's very soft, you can build it up if you want, but you can also just leave it like this. Now we will go into the peach, and in order to, in order to transfer the most color, I'm actually going to use one of the little sponge tip applicators, just like this. You could also spray one of your eyeshadow brushes with some setting spray, that will incredibly intensify the look, but if not, you can just go ahead and use one of the sponge tip applicators. I know a lot of people throw these out the second they open up their palette, understandable, but I actually I keep them. I like them. I think they can be used efficiently sometimes. They're not going to be great to blend out lots of colors together, but they can help. Now I'm going into a more tapered brush and I'm going back into that first color from before and I'm simply going to place this in the outer corner here and I'm just going to help blend the two colors together. I love the finish of these shadows because you can tell it's luminous but it isn't too glittery. If you have fine lines around here, nothing's going to fall in and settle and, and like highlight any crow's feet or anything like that, which is like, who would want that, please? And then I'm just tapping this brush here on the outer corner, like the outer third of my eye. I just want to use that first color here and just add a little bit. I could go into the second color here, but this one's much darker and I want my eyes to, I want my whole face to look light and fresh and refreshed. So I don't want anything too heavy. So just, just like this, I think is what I want. So if ever you're unsure, just take a minute and go look in a second mirror, maybe a bathroom mirror or a hallway mirror, because sometimes when you stay stuck up close, you can sort of lose perspective on what you're doing. So just take a breather, take a minute, and go look in different lighting and then come back. 
using this exact color again, I'm just tracing a little bit of this on the bottom lashes, just like that. And then I'm going into my volume mascara. I'm actually going to skip eyeliner because I just want my eyes to look light and fresh and I don't want to weigh them down with heavy eyeliner. So I'm going into a classic black mascara. Use the one that you prefer. My favorite is the classic volume in black. All right, that's it for the eyes. Let's move on to the face. I don't even know what caused me to have the worst sleep of my night last night. It was just like fitful. I think I had way too much caffeine like late in the day and then it was hot and then it was just like, I don't know, I just, I couldn't sleep and I fell asleep. And then at some point I startled myself awake, but I didn't like startle myself like laying down and then like straight up. I startled sideways towards my husband and then I startled myself and him awake. So it was like the middle of the night and then I was like, Ugh, like at that, at, at, my at my husband and they looked at him and he was like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I was okay. I asked him, are you okay? And he's like, yeah. And then I just fell back asleep. This morning, Dave was like, are you okay? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just like startled myself and him awake at the same time. I probably startled the neighbors or something, you know? It's so weird how that happens. But anyway, let's move on to the face. So the eyes are looking cute, looking more human. Now I have uh, the soft pink primer here, the new uh, number one de Chanel primer. Soft pink is really pretty because if you think of like color correctors, concealer correctors, they're often pink or peachy or orange depending on your skin tone, you know, how deep it is. So that's why we're leading into a peach look today. I'm going to use primers and concealers to feign the look of refreshment. So the soft pink is really pretty. It looks like more of a champagne color here. So I'm going to use a little bit more of this in the center of the face and it's going to be a little bit under the eyes as well. Just spreading this out a little bit more evenly. And this does have a nice little glow as well. So this will help with everything. Um, okay, there we go. I also have medium coral here. And this one here, let me actually do a side-by-side -side of the soft pink. So that's soft pink here, and then medium coral. So you can just see in case you didn't see my original video. There is quite a bit of difference in there, but I'm going to use just a little hint of the coral color, but I did do a full breakdown review of these new primers. So if you want to see that, go ahead and have a look. So using the medium coral, I think it's called. Yeah, I'm just going a little bit more on the periphery of my face. As a point of reference, for summer, I wear a B40. In winter, I'm a B30. And then I'm using the Touch Up Face Brush 104. This is a wonderful complexion product for primers, foundations, tinted moisturizers, anything like that. It's really wonderful. So just mixing these together here. And you can see instantly the glow, the radiance, the slight blurring effect as well. So we're just going to mix these and there we go i look a little bit more refreshed i just look a little bit healthier and you know maybe people will think i slept a whole night sleep but i didn't and sometimes that's just the reality of life isn't it all right this looks quite luminous i'm going to add just a touch more it's a little bit more than a touch but you know sometimes we need a bit more assistance just want to even things out. It doesn't really cover too much. It's really just like a skin enhancer as far as like glow and hydrating and just making you look very healthy and very pretty. There we go. I'm probably going to skip an actual foundation because even though I'm tired, it's more like in the center of my face, under eyes that I want to work on more than like covering breakouts or whatever i'm not that fussed so i'm going into my sublimage concealer in the shade 32 this is probably one of my all-time favorite concealers and the shade 32 
is a bit peachy, as you can see. And peach is going to correct any blueness that we might have, any dark circles. So I'm placing it where I place it normally. But then I'm actually going to go in a bit more into the center of my face. This is more concealer than I normally wear, but because it has that peach, it's going to give you that healthy glow because again, a lot of healthy glow primers have peach or champagne or pink. And so that peachy hue makes you look healthy, makes you look awake and just, yeah, healthy. So just adding a bit more here concentrated, I'm going to blend it out, but this is going to be my complexion product. And in the end, it's going to make a world of difference. So you don't always need a ton of products. Like I'm using a primer and a concealer here. That's really what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a bit of blush afterwards as well, but I'm just saying, if you're feeling tired, you don't have to go in with a heavy foundation. It's more about correcting the dark circles and bringing brightness and lightness to your face. Now I'm going to bring this in the inner corner here. This is the really important part. I'm not adding product here. I'm just sort of blending it underneath and then going into the bone here where your nose is and up underneath your brow. That makes a world of difference. That's not eyeshadow, that's just concealer, just lightly blended like that. So there we go. I just added another cup of coffee to my face. All right, this is starting to look better. So this concealer here is luminous. It's very hydrating, it's luminous. It gives you a brightened, awakened look. So that's why I went into this today, not even a consideration. I wanted a good amount of coverage but it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't crease, it's not cakey. And because it has a nice level of coverage, when you apply it here in the center, it's sort of just, again, it brightens and awakens, it gives you that soft little peach and it makes you look nice and healthy. Now, I'm just gonna go into blush. I'm not gonna complicate my life with adding extra layers of bronzer and whatever. I think the primer gives my skin a nice healthy glow. It's going to be my highlighter. But I'm going into a beautiful blush here. This is from, I think this is 2022, 2021, the Pêche Rosé. Remember this beautiful blush? This was, I think, a spring summer release that came out in like January, but this was a gorgeous release. It's a beautiful, healthy glow peach blush. It does have a little bit of luminosity in it, so it's going to, you know, enhance the glow. And again, we're just leaning into this peach. So I'm just adding a little bit here on the cheeks. I think that this blush came out at the same time as the Mediterranean palette. Remember that one? That was really pretty, just like very ethereal and glowy, very light colors. And I think that came out in, I want to say January, but it was for spring, summer of 2022, I want to say. I think so. I'm adding just a touch on the bridge of my nose and on the top here because i'm not really i'm not going to go into bronzer just the peach blush and this is just going to add a bit of color to my face for the lips we're keeping it super easy peasy i'm going into this lip gloss here so this shade 181 technically this one is discontinued of course but there's a shade called 166 physical that i think would be a very good dupe for it because this one here is just like a peachy nudie gloss. That's what the color looks like here on the back of my hand. And I'm pretty sure that 166 would be a close enough dupe here. So we're just going into this gloss for the lip color. All right, guys, this is the finished look. And I have to share with you, when I was digging around for a peachy lip color, I found this old Rouge Allure gloss. Do you remember these? I used to love these. It's a lip gloss. This is the shade number 12, Exotic. It clicks like this, and then you have the wand and the gloss. I wore this so much. I had several of these glosses, like just the click up here. I keep hoping that one day they'll bring these back. Look at that, it's so fun. And when I would wear it, it actually would mellow out. It wouldn't look quite as orange. It sort of chilled out a bit. It was almost like a creamsicle color. It was very pretty, but I keep hoping that every time they 
and announced like a new release with the Rouge Allure series. I keep hoping that they bring back these lip lacquers. They were almost like lip lacquers. They were way thicker than any current lip gloss. It was just almost like a liquid or like a melted lipstick, like a melted lipstick. It was so gorgeous. So let me know if you remember those lip glosses. They were great. Now let's go into a fragrance to finish off the look. I think that the Beige Eau de Parfum is probably the best for this look here. I would want something with a bit of peach. If you have the Cristal Eau de Toilette, I would wear that because it has a bit of nectarine, nectarine, peach, same stone fruit. That's sort of the vibe here. I'm like, what do I have with peach in it? But I think beige is going to be good. Beige is a great perfume. I love it. It smells a little bit powdery, but it has a little bit of honey to it. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It smells like a great fragrance. So I'm gonna wear beige with this look here and I'm wearing a beige linen jumpsuit. So I think it's uh, going on trend here. Okay guys, this is the official finished look with the fragrance in tow. Now, does it look like I slept less than five hours last night? No, I look refreshed. I think so anyway. I look pretty awake and that's the goal. Sometimes you just gotta fake it till you make it and fake it until you come back home and flop back into bed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I gave you some good ideas on how to mix and match new and old at home. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you are missing out on a lot of great stuff. So make sure you are subscribed. And on that note, that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.